Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is a mad science update for today. Wild extinct super cow known as the Oroch is returning to Europe. Well, they're uh, doing this by taking domestic cattle that have the has on the genes from these humongous cattle and they're back breeding them to get a higher and higher concentration of ORAC genes and then you come up with an ORAC ORACs uh, at least something like it the idea was these wild cattle would basically graze throughout Europe and they help maintain the landscape and all that Unfortunately, they didn't live very well along with uh, humans. They got put out of, they got made extinct. Now, here's the article. Our ancestors learned to respect the Orak and immortalize them in prehistoric cave paintings. The earliest cows were mighty beasts that stood almost as tall as elephants with lean, powerful frames and fearsome horns that would make on Earth, think twice. For thousands of years, Orax were largest land mammals in Europe until the rise of human civilization decimated their numbers until the last of the species died in Poland in 1627, one of the first recorded cases of extinction. Conservationists now believe the loss of the Keystone herbivore was tragic for diversity in Europe arguing that the Oroch's huge appetite for grazing provided a natural gathering so gardening service that maintained landscapes and created the conditions for other species to thrive. Theory is now being put to the test as a near 100% substitute of the beast is returned to the forest. Ecologi ecologist Ronald Godiri launched a tourist program in 2008 seeking to address failing ecosystems. The most powerful herbivore in European history seemed to offer a solution. We thought we needed a grazer that is fully self sufficient in case of big predators and could do the job of grazing wild, big wild areas, said Godiri. We reasoned that this animal would have to resemble an auroch. Rather than attempt the type of gene editing or high-tech de-extinction approaches being employed for species from woolly mammoths to passenger pigeons, Godiri chose a method known as backbreeding to create a substitute vol bovine he named Taurus. Orac genes remain present in various breeds of cattle around the continent, and the team identified descendants in Spain, Portugal, Italy, and the Balkans. Geneticists advise breeding certain species together to produce offspring closer to the qualities of the Oroch, and then breed the offspring. The animals get closer with each generation, and the team has the advantage of being able to test the offspring's DNA against complete genome of the Oroch, which was successfully sequenced at University College Dublin. You can see the first from the first generation that apart from the horn size, there's enough wild in the breed to produce animals far closer to the Oroch than we could have ex would have expected, so go dearie. The ecologists had predicted that seven generations would be necessary for the desired outcome, which might be achieved by 2025. The program is now in its fourth generation, and 
pilot schemes across Europe are offering encouragement. Okay. Taurus program connected with rewilding Europe early on, a group that supports the restoration of natural processes through projects that range from rebuilding rivers to int introducing apex predators. Rewilding Europe was able to provide protected land across the continent, Croatia, Spain, Portugal, Czech Republic, Romania, where Goderi's crossbreeds can test themselves in the wild. In many cases, they rose to the challenge. We see progress not only in looks but in behavior, but also in the de domestication of the animals, he said. This is a challenging process as they might have to accept the presence of large packs of wolves. Herbs, herds of herbivores are habitually decimated by local wolves at the Croatian site, said Goderi. By contrast, the Taurus learned to defend themselves and suffered few losses. Selective breeding will continue toward creating an ideal animal, but the current crop is already serving as function. Right. Now, must say they do create this animal in such a huge size. You know, Middle Ages Europe is one thing. Today's a totally different situation in Europe, and I'm thinking this is going to screw things up even more in Europe. I don't know. But I'll uh, help feed the wolves, of course. But what about species living now? I mean, uh, Europe's been adapted to living with the critters they have now. And they're going to bring this thing back? Well, they already have. And they're going to continue bringing them until they have these gigantic beasts with a nasty temper. This is a modern world. It's not 1600s for crying out loud. I feel real sorry that Oroch went out of, went extinct, but that's where it happens with species. When you take them off the planet, so the new ones keep, keep getting put on the planet. Ah! What did artifacts just say? Anyway, that's your mad science update for today. Unbelievable. They're opening themselves up to trouble. Of course, with their open borders, it doesn't really matter, so. No matter of fact, it's Mars.